And so here's a story fresh out of Jamaica, right? Headline, big up to the loop, says shots fired. Two shots. One fatally as firearm holders trade bullets at a wedding. God a wedding, you know? A wedding. So not only will somebody lose their life, they lost their lives at a celebratory event like a wedding. Where people are joining life. So the story says two licensed firearm holders. Here's the details of the story. Two licensed firearm holders were shot. Both of them were shot. One fatally after reportedly trading bullets during a wedding reception. Rona Usain Bolt place Rona Trelawney. Rona, when name they again? My artist man, bad artist. Charlie Black place around a Trelawney Friday afternoon. The deceased has been identified as Paul Campbell, a 45 year old music selector of Florence Hall Trelawney. Reports are that, listen to this, 5.45 p.m. Campbell was playing some music at the event in Rock Trelawney when he and the owner of the venue got into a heated argument after he allegedly complained that he was playing the music too loud and asked him to turn it down. So the DJ is at an event, a celebratory event. Yeah. Playing the music and the man who owned the venue come tell the DJ about him and play the music too loud. Following? Information reaching Luke News is that the businesswoman's son who owned the venue reportedly intervened and during that, a tussle. Campbell fell to the ground. So they licked down the DJ then. Mm -hmm. After he got up, the selector reportedly pulled his firearm and opened fire, hitting the businesswoman's son. The injured man now pulled his firearm after him get shot and shot the DJ, which is Campbell. They were both taken to the hospital where Campbell, the one who get licked down, the DJ, was pronounced dead. The other man admitted for treatment. The shooting sent persons at the wedding, of course, scampering for cover. I would have been monkey, flipping, cheetah diving, all kind of stuff called gunshot no nice. Trust me. The Falmouth police are now investigating. What a sad event. God almighty. Left your two cent ye people them. A wedding is supposed to be a celebratory event like Babe said a while ago, but not only that, if you're at a venue, more than likely you paid that business owner to be able to play your music as loud as possible, celebrate as loud as possible, so your, you and your family could enjoy themselves. That movie, so, yeah. so the business owner coming and saying that the music was too loud is definitely weird to me. Very, so I feel like there's very. something, something there. Something different, more to the story. There's more to the story. Either she and the DJ probably were in something, or he's an ex, or something, uh, else. something else. There's no way that this lady paid this DJ to come and DJ at her wedding, and then you, the person you pay to keep this celebratory event, come and say you're celebrating too, too loud. loud. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And so. on, on, on a deeper level, watch this. Some some people they don't have any gauze or balls unless they have a gun on them. And this this brings to issue now something even bigger because you know we're always saying stuff like, well hell, a lot of criminals in Jamaica have guns. Yeah. So the FLA need to free up the law and make regular civilians be able to have guns and have proper gun training. Mm -hmm. Like in the U.S., it's not hard to get a gun, especially, well, some states. But the states that I live in and travel through, it's very easy to get one and it's very easy to get gun training here. Yeah. I think they should have something similar to that in Jamaica because the place full of gun already. A lot of Jamaicans are saying, nope, because by nature, we're hot-headed. Mm -hmm. So, and I don't really subscribe to that. It's just like a girl saying... She had tear up the place and she mad because she depend on her period. Well, there are a lot of females that have their period and they don't have a nasty attitude that goes with it. You know what I'm saying? It's a mind state that you put yourself in. And some people use it as an excuse. I'm on my period, so I'm acting bitchy. It, like, you go through all the things that other women go through as well. Yeah. You can calm yourself down a little bit. They're saying that if people have guns legally 
they're going to start resort, resorting to shooting each other in situations where they could have actually talked it out. Yeah. And this could be used as a big example. I'm not saying that it's right where, oh, they're going to be shooting each other. I'm still for the guns. Yeah. I want everybody to have one. You know what I'm saying? So, but... He but, wants everyone to have one to be able to defend themselves. That's yes, what he means. I want every person to be able to legally own a firearm and get proper training with one so they know how to defend themselves with one. And also, it could be a deterrent because criminals will know that, okay, if I go into this neighborhood, majority of the homeowners in this neighborhood are firearm, whole licensed firearm holders. So my chances of going in here and doing stupidity and making it out probably is slim to none. Yeah? It's just like driving around in Texas. Yeah. If somebody step on your toes, you might throw the peace sign up and just keep it moving. You won't be all, rah, rah, rah. reason being, you pull something out big, they probably pull something out even bigger. You pull out something holding 13 rounds, they probably pull out a whole banana clip with a hundred rounds, rest that AK right up there on the friggin' thing, ready for you, and yum your food. Yeah. So, in saying that, I'm saying this. That idiot man there, that went to the people them damn wedding. Some people exalt themselves. I mean, own the this. venue, this is my business, yeah. your son. And my mother run this. Yeah. It's a celebratory event, man. People are allowed to be overjoyed at least one time in life. If it's even a wedding. Yeah. A wedding. Come on now. You're supposed to be celebrating our christening, our baby birth, or them kind of something that they're going to really show up and tell the people about their plane. Are you the police? Is he the police? In my noise ordinance, I him govern noise. So he's up there telling the people about them I play music too loud. I don't understand that part. And like she said, there's got to be something more to the story. It can't be. I paid you to have my wedding here and you come and tell my DJ to turn down the music because it's too loud in your establishment. Uh, I paid. Yeah. Right? So either you wait till my reception is done and we leave, you get your money, fair business transaction. But all that that ended in gunshot at wedding and somebody dead, I don't know. I'm telling the people out there, man, be very careful. Guard your life because for some reason... It's like some people ain't gonna make it mm -hmm. to the new year, which could have been avoided. Yeah. The battery are dead on all them things. The baby have nothing else to say? No, I lost my train of thought. Uh, you did? Mm -hmm. Alright, my day I drink some orange peel skin. A client that I come from. So, you know, that's where orange peel. We make tea with it or something. So, <laughs> I drink some orange peel skin in water for flavor my water. I'll get my vitamin C, them thing there. Big up on yourself here. Bless up. SoFlow TV there along with Friends and the Beat Beautiful as ever I don't know why she look like that today People, life is good, cherish life I'm out, peace Alright, welcome to SoFlow TV again everybody It's your host with the most, she is not that tall She's actually standing on a stool Alright, <laughs> I don't know why we are laughing though Because we come to talk about one serious topic This is a story that just happened I just got home from work I want to know When you see me grab the microphone and the camera And still have on my Scrubs. My scrubs, be able to help me talk, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I've been up since like, what, what time I get up this morning? Three. I got up since three o'clock this morning. None of my business, none of that matters anyways. This right here. So, baby, can turn the way there and talk to the camera. And join in, join in family. So she knows she's pretty, she over here looking at me around and talk. You can not talk that way there, you look different still. So I'm going to work this morning. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. 